the first two minutes and like 15 seconds is just me talking about what the car is. Make sure and listen to that because it's not perfect. Look at the wheels and the chrome peeling on them. But it's a great little car and a great project. It's not rusty at all, it's clean. About two and a half minutes of me talking about the car and the prices. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I do all kinds of daily vlogs, videos, and different things about cars and you name it, all kinds of stuff. I've got a lot of cars left. And I got about a dozen of them that are just nice little cars, projects, whatever they may be, that I'm gonna sell so cheap it's pitiful. I'm literally giving these cars away. So, this video is about a really unique car. It's a Mercedes limo, man. I believe it's a factory Pullman style. I mean, it's a three row W123 250, I believe is what it is. It's a Euro model. You got the Euro bumpers, you got the little Euro limo thing up front in the middle of the bumpers. It's a cool, cool car. If you're looking for a 300D wagon or some kind of a W123, like a 240D, this is way cooler, man. So cool, because nobody has one. I've seen only a few in my lifetime. But it's an absolute steal. Um, so basically, it's in good shape. The paint's all faded. Um, it'll crank up and fire. It needs some carburetor work. It's only got 96,000 or so. There's a full video here that I'm gonna include and everything. Um, if you're interested, call me up. It's 406-546-8748. No, it can't drive to Florida. No, it can't drive anywhere. It's leaving my place on a trailer. It's not got safe tires. It's not got safe this. It's been sitting. It's a project car. So, no. And no, I can't go smog it or do this or do that or do nothing because it don't go nowhere. And I'm clearing out my lot. I've just got too many cars. I'm giving up my lot. I'm not going to be renting it no more down there, my storage lot. So I have no place to keep it. So I'm giving it up. And I could just pay to truck it up here to Montana, but I'd really like to just get rid of it and save the trucking. And so by saving the trucking, I'm offering a great deal on it. What's this great deal? The great deal is 1950 bucks. It's a freaking steal. You're not gonna find another one. What are the Euro bumper worth? I, think, I mean, b -b 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 come on, man. What's the gauge clusters worth? 250 bucks or so. So yeah, it's a great deal. You need to get this car, check out this video, and call me up with any questions. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is the interior video of this absolutely gorgeous W123 Mercedes-Benz limo. It's a 250. This tire's trash. I put some in it to where you can see how it looks up and all that. However, the car is not going to set up by the end of this video. So, that's it. I'm going to just show you a nighttime type dusk, I guess you'd call it, uh, shot to where it's not as bright. Although that shot there is pretty dang bright, ain't it? Um, I don't know if this makes my lighting different or what. But Ah, who knows? Okay, so that's it. You got your nighttime view. I got a water puddle here I'm contending with. Um, and if you're interested, Nathan, 406 546 8748. I'm going to show you the interior. And I'm going to start it at some point. I don't know how I'm going to edit this all together, but we're doing. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, interior. It's in great shape. It is in absolutely great shape. Look at this. It's not all ripped up, it's not all torn up. A little slice in the piping right there. You can barely see. Um, door panels, good condition. Um, we didn't even clean this up. Um, didn't even spray it with nothing and do nothing. That guy should clean it and do the respray and the SEM. Oh my goodness. You do this, this thing would look so nice. A little wear right there. But look up that video on YouTube. It's crazy what they do. No wear on the pedals. It's only got 97,000. Um, a couple small flat but still cracks in the dash. Good news is, W123 dashes are cheap. Unleaded only, baby, 97,000. There's a little sticker right there, kind of makes it blurry. Um, oh, keys in my pocket. Power amenities. This seat, look over there, just nice. This piece of wood, I actually have. I don't know why it, it wasn't glued on. Why, why wouldn't that be finished? I have people who finish things, but I guess that's... It's nothing! Glue the stuff on there! It's easy. Not you. Not you. Not that guy. Not this guy. No guys. Okay! I can't, I can't believe that this just 
I can't. There you go. Armrest. Great shape. This has fallen out of the tracky track a little bit, but it is functional. There's a split there. This clip is broke. That might have been on there for a reason. Sure was. And very smart too, because if this light comes on, the car will go dead. So they had that on there to hold it down. Cool stuff. Okay. Um, you know, I think the key has to be on. Does the key have to be on for that, or does it just not work? I don't know. We'll check it after we look at the rest of the car. Three row limo, baby. Kind of cooler than a wagon in a certain way. I'm going to mark a smudge. Um, I think you pull this out and lay it down. And then pull this. I'm going to have to set it down because you pull this one out. And you can flip it up. Just like that. I'm going to flip. Oh, there's the key. It was in my pocket and I laid it down. Back seat's in great condition. Look at this. Even got the little old man's hat and umbrella. I just left it there. It might have been actually Mary Poppins. I don't know who's owned this thing. Get my key here. Don't forget that. I'm gonna pop the hood while I'm up here. On this side. It's a great car. Um, seal around the antenna's gone. It just needs someone to redo it. And what's cool is it's not all rusted to heck or nothing. It's just, it's a clean car. Look at this. Still got all the original lining and everything in here. Um, it's not even all cracked up. Original Mercedes stuff. This original jack, tool kit in there. Um, this tire is a little bit big. And that's why this sits a little bit odd. It's because the tire is a little bit bigger. It should be. Look at there. Think about that with the correct... Yeah, buddy. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. It's 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 clean. That's just what there is to say about it. It's a clean car. Did I, how did I lock that? I don't know. But I guess I did. Okay. Boom. That little thing comes out and it makes it do it to it. And actually, so you know, all the rows have seatbelts. And I don't know why these were left in here. You know, the detailing and stuff on my things right now is kind of getting to me. Because this is just, this will come right off of there. I mean, it's so simple to do. I, I don't know. You know, when you're in business, you can't check everything all the time. It's just not possible. And this should have been cleaned better. That's all there is to say about it. Um, but it's a super clean car. This just literally was not cleaned in any way, shape, or form. I don't know. I can't check everything. I don't know how to make it work. But I know that I can't scrub all that good with my broken hand. And it seems to be a lot of things. But I can't do that good with my broken hand. But this stuff has to get clean has to have the same level of care put into it and I, I the level of pride in the work and everything that's the reason why we have a lot of the problems and just kind of drifted away on seeing eye to eye and what's going on but this is not what I expect when I get a car detail at all these other mats that were in the middle here should have been taken out there's things you should ask about it's not I, I can't come and look over your work and look for things that just should have been done this looks so much better it's pitiful I don't need to tell anybody this needs to be done somebody needs to know this needs to be done and that should have been clean too I just don't even know what I got time for before the Sun goes down it's crazy dude okay I'm back I cleaned this side up a little bit just with a brush and a little spray and I'm gonna show you the other side the carpets and everything in this car just were not even touched the thing wasn't detailed anywhere close to detailed that's super clean now. You can see on that side there's some smudges on it. It comes right off. It's just not been done. So I wanted to make sure and show you that and that it looks good. Um, 
even this paint, man, it's got all these little marks. It's just, it's, it, I don't know. Whatever. The detailing is not that great on this car. So, as you can see, it's cleaner. Um, seats weren't even scrubbed or nothing, so you can clean this thing up and it'll look even better. But it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to show you under the hood. And this right here. I could have got that too. But I just, the time effort, the time, time, time. And I've got to move out of this lot. I've got everything here to sell. So anything you're interested in, let me know. Cheap. And this car, cheap. It's just a clean car. You can see the dash is rather clean. 300E. That's not the right car. Um, I guess we just left everything in here, including this piece that goes right here. It has a chip out of it. Um, maybe the small pieces in there too. I guess you get all the batteries and junk too because anyhow we this one probably goes for the other side. Yeah. So you got two pieces with little chunks missing. Um, you might need new pieces of wood. But we do have them. Um, do have that manual. But it doesn't matter because it ain't the right one. So all this shit has been ripped out of here. I can't believe you got what is it? Rembrandt. You got toothpaste. I don't even know if they make that anymore. Rembrandt. That's how I get so much trash around here right there. <sighs> okay, so there's that. There's that. There's that. Let's look at the and look at this. They close so nice. These aren't even busted. That's a rare thing right there, baby. Okay. Under the hood. Let's do this. We talk about clean. We're gonna talk about clean right now. This is actually the beauty of it. I didn't touch up this piece, paint it. Some people flat black them and such. But I didn't we didn't put no spray under it. We didn't do yeah, we didn't do lots of things on this car. But um, you can see the gasket is just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, clean as can be, everything on this car. Look how clean it is. I showed you under the front of the hood. But it's just an exceptionally clean car. Um, it's a great shape. I'm going to Oh yeah, baby. Man, I gotta get a picture. Okay. W123 limo. You've seen the inside, you've seen the outside. You seen anything, any troubles, any issues? Um, I think I have a should have a key somewhere. Jeez, pockets are full. Oh no, here we gotta get the key again. There we go. Sorry. Oh no, you know, everything seems like a problem today for me. So I'm just being over. It ain't gonna start, it's gonna need some fuel put in it. Okay. There you go. There you go. That one, that one hops a little bit. This one does not work. Seems like a switch or motor, I don't know. Oh, and there goes the rest of that one. The switch for that mirror does not work. Um, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the stuff in the car right now. I'm back. I poured some gas down the car. Let's see this thing go. You're gonna hear it crank over at some point. I didn't put very much. There you go. That's probably what you're gonna get. It's a good um, motor. That's what you get. So it's a runner. You definitely have exhaust leak, and you definitely need to do a little work on it. The carburetor needs a rebuild, and it needs a fuel pump. That's the problem. It ain't pumping fuel, and it, I guess it could be because the carbs aren't sealed up, and it's just sucking air. So first thing, carb. Second thing, maybe fuel pump. That's the car. I knew it would go flat. These wheels were cool before they were like this. I mean, they are just a little toasted. I'd get them all sandblasted and painted or something. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Make sure and subscribe. All, all my lot is moving. Everything I've got here is closing. This stuff's out of here. Anything you see, great deals on everything. Check the website, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a 1985 Mercedes-Benz 250 W123 limo. Someone's here with me today. What's your name again? Lily. That's uh, Lily. That's right. And the kid's going to be doing the review. We're just going to do a quick walk around to where you can see how it looks. And then we're going to go up close and... The second time, what do we tell them? We should, what do we find? Uh, give us holes in the tire. Find a hole in the tire or anything like that. Any damages, I'll show you that. Come back this way. Perfect. Could you tape it? Tape it? We're taping it right now. Tape the tire? No, you could not tape the tire. And I will bet you, you're not the only person to wonder that. And there's been some awfully old people before that tried something like that. 
and it ain't gonna work. So that's the car that once around. I'm gonna go now, show you any damages. The car's been off the road for a while. Um, this is the worst tire. You can see it's all split out, and it'll probably go flat while we're doing the video. Yeah. Wheel wells, clean as can be. I'm gonna show you underneath. Underneath, also, clean. I have a lolly in my mouth. She has a lollipop, and she took the stick out. She's got this figured out. So that's that. Uh, underneath here, very clean. The little patina like that is all you get. There's no rust through anywhere, and nobody's bashed this around. Very cool, rare piece here um, for the American. Very shiny, huh? And the Euro bumpers, baby. You don't get these Euro short bumpers on a W123 like this in America. We just don't see them. And these pieces are usually all rotted out. These have usually been bashed around. Absolutely beautiful set of bumpers um, and rubbers. That's one of my favorite things on the car, the Mercedes-Benz logo. Okay, you can see the paint is faded. It's just old and it's sat. Clear coat's all gone. You can see where there's clear coat here. And it's not I here. Just paint. And it just lost the paint because the clear coat left. Yeah. So that's what you're dealing with. Like screwy. Like Scurry was losing paint. Her mom had a car and it was doing the same thing. And there'd be spots and everything like this. The good thing about no, this car... We didn't use it anymore. We didn't use it no more. There's no rust. These are tight. No rust around all this. It's tight. Tight, tight, tight. And now we do the thing where we look for dings. So down this side, this fender, I got one right here. I found the first one. Yeah, little scratches. But that's where the clear coat is. We're looking for a ding. Like that. This door here is actually straight as can be. There's a ding right there. Where? Right there. You're going to have to look from the side. You can come back here and look right there. You stay right there and I'll show you three of them down here. You'll see what I mean. Very clean right there. Right there. And right, look. Right there, right there, right there. You see them? And that's it. That's all you got for dings. And all this trim. You got a ding in that trim right there. The lights are in great shape. Going across the back, this bumper is in beautiful shape. I usually find them, but we can't get in the puddle. We can't get in the puddle. He lightly backed into something there, I think, but it doesn't look to have bent the bumper. Because they see our lizard? They can see we got a horny toad out on a hike today. And maybe we'll throw a picture of that in here. I got a picture. So that's the only dings on this side, really. Maybe I missed one. But I'm here to tell you, wheel wells around the openings, everything, not rusty. Roof. Same thing, the paint's faded. You're dealing with faded paint. It's just old, faded paint. This car with a paint job, who buddy? You got a scratch over there? Let me find it. Yep, a little scratch right there. Trunk lid's pretty clean. Chrome's good. Big scratch, not cool. Big scratch, not cool. Little scratch, okay. And this paint, you're repainting it anyway, so what the heck, all the scratches will be gone. Hot. Why don't you go ahead, find them. What are we showing them? Start at the back. We're gonna, where, do you see anything on this panel? Tiny scratches here. You see anything else? Come on. Okay, it's a big one. There's a big scratch. And no dings, really. No rust starting at the bottom yet. The tires are just absolutely gone. Um, keep showing. You got it. Little scratches right here. And not really any dings. But it's been chipped up along the edge, like parking lot stuff. Mm -hmm. See anything else? Let me know. I see this. Bubbles in the bubbles. tent. Bubbles. Tiny bubbles. A little scratchy scratch. This is. I don't know if it's a scratch or a drip down. A um, little scratch here. Faded on this door. Everything's faded. It's just faded. Baby. God, there's just not much. There's a ding right there. It's hard to find a ding. It's a straight car. Somebody really took care of this thing. That's for sure. Okay, so besides that, wheels. Oh, my mom. Okay, so back at you here, I had a phone call. The wheels, you can see what's happening. They've corroded around here. Um, this is actually kind of, needs to be sanded down, ground down, sandblasted. Okay, we'll show the lollipop. And we'll put a picture of the lizard in here because she wanted to show that. And down below, you can see there's just no rush. You can hear the air leaking out. Um, it's yeah. not gonna, it won't last for 10 minutes. So. Yeah. And look, each tire is split, and it, they all have this on it. 
So I don't know if you just put some Mexican hat wheels or some um, monoblocks. There you go. Get on the puddle. Monoblocks would be awesome. Sorry I had to swing around the puddle and stuff there. Um, it doesn't have the correct thing here, so it's zip tied up on the muffler. I didn't have the correct o ring. Next, Actually, I would hear zippy zoom kind of. I can go for that. I have lots of them, they're in there somewhere. Can't find them. Okay, so that's your review. That's your car. It's absolutely drop dead gorgeous. And you can see a couple of wrinkles in the tintina and stuff. <laughs> stuff like that. Other than that, though, absolutely gorgeous. Ready for your project car needs and all that stuff. Also, that you got to have the Mercedes logo and this. This is just such a slick piece right there. Okay, so that's the deal. If you're interested, call me up, Nathan, 406 546 8748, www.oneownercarguy.com. And it's on Breeder's Collar. It's on Breeder's Collar, too. And what do they do? What do we need them to do? Hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then after that, there's a bell. There's a bell. Click on it. You can click on it. So click you the. You have to. You have to. You have to. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll throw the interior in here in a little while. And Lily's off. She learned how to use an air compressor today. It's quite a day, I tell you. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And yeah, that's the video. I'll see you tomorrow.